This is cooking gumbo in DJ's kitchen. First thing we did is put everything listed on the back of here, vegetable wise and sausage wise, in here to saute with a little olive oil. Finely diced celery, garlic, onion, green pepper, and some sausage. All right, we got a nice medium heat here. And a nice little sizzle going. Now's a good time to add my old friend, Tony and Mrs. Dash. That's Mrs. Dash. You can use her in anything. She don't have any salt. And Tony's, I like a lot. Do how you like it. It's a little spicy, very salty. Don't forget your black pepper. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes or so. As you see, everything's looking pretty good and soft. So I think this is good for now. I'm gonna take these soft vegetables and transfer them over into my pot that I'm gonna do the cooking in. And then I'm gonna use this skillet to prepare the base of the roux. Okay, now the soft vegetables are just hanging out in this pot, waiting for the next step. This pan that I cooked the vegetables with has not been washed, so I'm gonna use some of this grease and seasonings to get my roux ready. So I got two cups of water, one cup of the roux mix, as it states on here. I'm gonna do the water in first. And then I will mix the roux in. You're supposed to have a whisk, which I do not, so I'll be using a fork. But the idea here is just to keep it from clumping up as it heats up. So I will be fork whisking and we'll just keep an eye on it as it heats up and we'll bring this to a boil to have our roux getting ready. Now it's really gonna wanna stick to the bottom here. So make sure you're getting down and scraping it off so it does not stick um, to your skillet or saucepan or whatever you're using to mix this up and it'll start to thicken on you um, just make sure you're getting it off the bottom season up the crab meat just got a what is this a pound of lump crab meat always got to have the Tony's we're gonna use a lot through here A little 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 hint of olive oil. Old Bay. Mix that up, see how it looks. Taste gotta mix all these things so a little bit gets on everything. Let's see. That's almost certainly not gonna be enough. Let's see. More old bay. Oh, babe. Mm -mm -mm. More Tonys. And, of course, some fresh ground pepper. Mix that up. That's probably about more what we're looking for. On the back of here, it says two cups and then an extra and, and 10 cups of water total. I think that's a bit much. So I kind of just eyeball it. Your roux will be pretty thick, almost like chocolate icing at this point. So I'll start with just two cups of water with the veggies. So as that warms up, we will begin mixing and whisking in the roux so that it should get a bit more liquidy as we combine it with these ingredients. So I got a pretty nice flame going here to get this water boiling and mixing in my roux base and distributing this around so that it will begin to loosen up and flavor what is beginning to become a gumbo. All right, we're getting a little closer here. This is getting warmer. I'm gonna put in one more cup of water so that I can simmer down a bit. I still have a lot of clumps of the gumbo mixture in here. So that I'm gonna be working to stir those out. 
um, so that they don't end up in the final thing. But I think after this boils for a little bit, we should be looking pretty good. So I'm gonna let this get up to boiling temperature. And right. check on it. I put the lid on to help this boil. We got some bubbles going, so this should definitely be helping break up some of the clumps. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. And you just keep whisking if you have a whisk, which you probably do. And you see any little clumps like that, that's what we're trying to break up. These little gumbo things, but if you do have a whisk, it'll probably kill a lot better. So I put the lid back on, let it simmer. I think the bubbles are really doing the most work to break up the little clumps. And this is uh, looking pretty good here. Not too many clumps left. So now this will be a good time to add in our crab oil. Okay, now remember the crab oil is super strong and concentrated. So you only need a little bit and it goes a long way. One more, that wasn't quite enough for me. <laughs> if you taste it now, Probably not really gonna taste like much. Mmm, got the right amount of crab oil. Other than that, it's not super flavorful, but this is about how you should be looking. And then the rest of the flavor is gonna come in when you add in your seafood. So, I just used the frozen ones from Walmart, but you can go fancy if you want. These are raw, and I'm just gonna toss them in here to cook, and they will start adding some of that flavor we're looking for. Boop. And I'll put the lid back on and let these get to Berlin. All right, got the lid back on, doing a boiling. That's looking pretty good. Got our shrimp cooking in there. Let's see how it's looking. Make sure we're making, scraping off the bottom. Oh. There's a roux stuck down there. Don't let the roux stick to the bottom. Make sure you keep keep it coming up so it don't burn down there. Now we're looking pretty good. And you can smell as the shrimp cooks, it's beginning to smell more like a gumbo. We'll leave the lid off now that it's steaming and we'll let this cook down a little bit. Not too much, but we'll just leave it about like there. And remember to come back and stirring it often so that this roux doesn't stick on you. All right, so it's still steaming. This is a little bit more water than I like, so I'm still just gonna keep stirring it every few minutes. And my clock's not the right time, but we'll probably give it another 15 minutes or so. Just stirring, checking, making sure nothing's sticking to the bottom. And um, just let it cook down, thicken up a little bit before we add our crab meat, and then we'll let that cook a little bit. Low heat. Most of the crab meat, mix it all in. Left a little bit to the side for if you want to make a dip or egg uh, crab omelet or something in the morning. But now everything is in here and we're gonna stir and we'll just let the crab cook in there for not too long. You don't want to overcook anything, but you let, let it all kind of simmer together and then let the flavors of the crab and the shrimp and everything all mix in and everybody be friends. I've been boiling in there for a minute. Let's give it the taste test and see the consistency. It's pretty good. Well, that's darn good. Now remember, you can always add more Tonys or whatever to taste. Um, I like mine just a hair thicker, so I'm just gonna boil it down. Just a few more minutes. Just remember as long as it's boiling, keep, keep stirring and keeping it off the bottom, but Here's your gumbo. It's ready to go-go. Serve over rice. Um, some people also like to throw a little scoop of potato salad on top. Uh, let me know how it turns out. Thanks for cooking with DJ at DJ's Kitchen.